If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's Protection Family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and Saint Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, December 13, 2022, Tuesday of the third week of Advent. Memorial of St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr. Prayer to St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr. St. Lucy, whose beautiful name signifies light. By the light of faith, which God bestowed upon you, increase and preserve his light in my soul, so that I may avoid evil and be zealous in the performance of good works. And detest nothing so much as the blindness and the darkness of evil and sin. Obtain for me, by your intercession with God, perfect vision for my bodily eyes, and the grace to use them for God's greater honor and glory and the salvation of souls. St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr, hear my prayers and obtain my petitions. Amen. Personal Reflection How do I carry out God's will for me each day? In how I interact with others and how I carry out God's will, which son am I? Dear friends, if you would like to know more, kindly leave a comment in the section below. First reading, a reading from the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, and 9 to 13. Thus says the Lord, O to the city, rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city, she hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord she has not trusted. To her God she has not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they all may call upon the name of the Lord, to serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not to be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. For then will I remove from your midst the proud braggarts. And you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain, but I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Your response, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy. 
and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard him. And from all his distress, he saved him. Your response, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. Your response, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. Your response, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, O Lord, do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, verses 28 to 32. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, what is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came, to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him. But tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet, even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. The two sons parable is discussed in today's gospel reading. Friends, it shows how we have responded to God's plans for our lives. The first son is a metaphor for those who, despite being thought to be living sinful lives, turn from their sin and alter their relationship with God. The second sign stands for those who claim to be living holy lives, but who refuse to carry out God's will in their daily actions. Jesus frequently condemns the hypocritical sin. It is important to note that neither son shows his father any respect. My dear friends, Jesus is silent in the parable regarding the third son. Who is the son of God? Jesus fully and perfectly carries out his father's will even to the point of giving his life. In addition to saying yes to him. We might be reflecting the attitudes of both sons alternately in our shaky, unreliable, inconsistent, haughty and immature response to God's will. 
to consider the perspective of the third son, however, presents us with the real challenge. It is important for our Mother Mary's protection family to understand that the Lord is sensitive to the cries of the poor. Yes, dear friends, during this Advent journey, let each of us examine ourselves, place our shattered hearts, crushed spirits and guilt in Jesus' hands and then experience his closeness and refuge. Prayer Jesus, you are our Savior and I am grateful for 503 subscribers. I thank you Lord for inviting us all to the fullness of life through this channel. Lord, bless them all, their families, and everything they intend. Lord, as the Christmas season approaches, I pray for my Mother Mary's protection family. Please assist us in being your followers in words and deeds that are meaningful and beneficial to our growing together in faith. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Until we meet again in the next video, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. God bless you.